Christian Gade, Elmhurst Sr. joining me right now. And uh, you guys are getting ready for regionals on Saturday. Uh, what's it feel like? No, it's re very exciting. It's been a long time since we've been back there, and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, you guys, last time I checked, it was 2004. So nobody on this squad has experienced this type of a postseason run. Um, is that intimidating at all? Or do you guys kind of relish in it? Yeah, we're relishing it. I mean, we're, we're thankful for right now. I mean, we've been up and down all season, so to get this far, we're gifted to do it. Now, you guys definitely turned it on here toward the end of the season. I think you start off 4-3. and three. You're now 16-5, and five, so obviously you're playing your best ball here in the postseason. What's, uh, what's added to that? Uh, nothing really. I mean, we, just been, we came together more as a team. At the beginning, we had some, some little mistakes that we should never had, but our team's tough now. So now as you look ahead to, to Yorktown, what do you guys know about Yorktown? What's st what style of ball do they play? They try to keep it slow. They have a guy that takes about 55% of their shots. So as long as we stop him, I think we should be good. So you guys definitely going to keep that uh, up tempo game going and hopefully shut down their guy? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Now, uh, with the possibility of the closure kind of looming over the school, do you guys feel any sort of pressure to keep this thing going? Yeah, we want to keep it going as long as we can, you know. I mean, Wednesday will definitely help the school. I mean, it's just tough to say how they're going to do it, but if we Wednesday, it'll help us out tremendously. Do you guys talk about that? I mean, what it really means, I mean, this, this could essentially be the last boys' basketball season under the school. Yeah, I mean, it's sad, but... You know, we're trying to do it for the community and Elmhurst alumni. We're just trying to do it for our team. What would it mean, I guess, to kind of take that next step? Because you get through Saturday and you're just uh, two, two games away from Conseco. Yeah, it's, it's a crazy feeling. I mean, we're really thankful for this, and I mean, it'll be a big step for our, our program. Do you feel like you, uh, as the seniors, have really kind of taken over and just kind of taken that mentality that you just don't want it to end? Uh, no doubt. I mean, the seniors, it really means a lot to all of us, and we, we don't want it to end right now.